Where am I? Was I unconscious? You saved me there. My name is Oswald. I'm a scholar. You must be a traveler. Hmm. I'm looking for someone. I'm sure you have your own reasons for travel. So what do you say we help each other out for a bit? It's the only logical choice, and my magic is sure to be of use. You've chosen well. So, what are you waiting for? Let's go.
Well, now. What's this? I'll take I like my arms. Now then. <laughs> Thinking time.
sinking time. Now then. Thinking time <laughs> broken. Time to shine. I'm done. Now then. I wasn't expecting that. All things in this world have a source. Nothing begets nothing. Follow the chain of cause and effect, and it will lead you to the answer you seek. For the record, you, Oswald, plead not guilty. Is that correct? <laughs> the facts are thus. Upon extinguishing the fire, the bodies of your wife and daughter were found in the rubble. They were nearly charred beyond recognition. A gruesome sight. I'm sure you agree. Thus the court accepts, without objection, immolation as the cause of death. However, there is one last inexplicable detail. Nothing one could reasonably consider the cause of the conflagration was found at the scene. Ergo, the fire ought not to have happened at all. Absent. The use of magic, that is. <laughs> you were a scholar of magic, weren't you, Oswald? Is that a mere coincidence? Hmm, I think not. Having conducted a thorough investigation of the scene, the court holds the following to be true. You, Oswald, were the only one capable of starting such a fire that night. In the sacred name of Alifan the Scholar King, 
the court hands down the following verdict. Oswald v. Van Stein. We find you guilty of the murder of your wife and daughter, for which you are sentenced to life imprisonment on Frigid Isle. Do you have any last words? <laughs> Harvey. The man who took everything from me. Shall die by my hand. I swear it. Frigid Isle, a solitary island in the far northern reaches of the sea. Blanketed in snow all through the year. <sighs> the nearest continent is due east. Four days' journey by sea. Even on the largest vessel. Even then, the fierce blizzards at sea can make a wreck of the mightiest ships. Trips to and from this accursed place are heavily regulated. This place holds all mainlanders found guilty of the most heinous crimes. It held over 300 of us at its peak. In its 80-year history, none have escaped. Or rather, I should say, the deplorable treatment of the prisoners ensures that lives end before sentences do. I have survived for 1,879 days, but neither the unforgiving climate nor the ravages of time shall extinguish the fire in my breast. Another frigid day in hell, eh, Professor? <laughs> you know what this is? It's your little notebook. It never leaves your hands, does it? <laughs> oh, don't look at me like that. I'm only borrowing it. You were quite the scholar, weren't you? Yes, this notebook could be worth quite a lot. I'm sure it'd fetch me a tidy pile of cigarettes. You're welcome to take it back, of course, but you'll have to fight me for it. Anyhow, help! Guards! He's gonna kill me! <laughs> help! Somebody! <sighs> What's all this about? It's him! He attacked me!
Well, if it isn't Oswald, our magical murderous scholar. <clears throat> How do you like the new toy I gave you, Professor? <laughs> it's a fine little muscle, isn't it? Keeps you from speaking those spells you love so much. You're the only one who has the honor of wearing it, I'll have you know. You should be kissing my feet. <laughs> What's that look for? <sighs> I know defiance when I see it, and I'll have none of it. I'd love to hear what you sound like. I really would. When you're begging for your life, that is. <laughs> Thirteen seconds. Thirteen seconds from the time a prisoner calls for help, to the guard's response. At least some valuable information's come of all this. One warden, and thirty-four guards, for two hundred ninety-two prisoners. Over time, I've learned much about the way the prison, and the people within it, work. And all of that knowledge shall inform my eventual escape. An escape for which the plan is written in this notebook, using a cipher naturally. I've revised said plan numerous times these last five years and polished it to a fine sheen. Only three pieces of the puzzle remain. The first, an escape route. For this, I have chosen a passage that leads beneath the prison. This passage is overlooked even by the guards themselves, and it leads directly out of this place. I must conduct a more thorough review of it, and soon. The second, suitable clothing. Once I escape, I'll be exposed to the elements. The cold will claim me in minutes if I am clad in nothing but these rags. The third and final, an accomplice. To escape on my own would be to rely on my own assumptions. I require the help of another with intimate knowledge of the prison's inner workings. With these three pieces in place, my plan shall move that much closer to completion. At which point, only its execution shall remain. Wake up, human filth! To work with you! <clears throat> I understand this island was once dotted with mines. Entire mountains were reduced to rubble for ore. And the prison was built atop the wreckage. To this day, there remains phosphor buried in the fridge of Earth. It's immensely flammable, and sells for a fair bit of coin. So the prisoners are forced to mine it, and the guards line their pockets with the proceeds. Mine, scum! Keep those hands moving! I said, keep moving! Unless you'd rather freeze to death! 
What's wrong with you? I can't move anymore. Too cold. Don't you go soft on me, criminal filth. Need I remind you that you were sent here to atone for your misdeeds. So beg whatever gods you serve for forgiveness and dig, you useless little mole. Your life is worthless compared to the precious phosphor you cleave from the earth. And believe you me, we'd burn you instead if you were anywhere near as easy to set alight. Do you understand? Answer me! Warden, sir, is already dead. An unfortunately common sight. We are adaptable creatures. Any environment, no matter how horrific, can be made ordinary. Forced labor is followed by a vanishingly small window of free time. It is in this free time that I review the remaining pieces of my plan. They are three. The first, an escape route. The prison is as old as it is massive. There are bound to be gaps and awkward seams. Perhaps I can glean a hint or two from someone with intimate knowledge of the island's history. The second, suitable clothing. One they call the Provisioner sells the clothing I'll need to survive. But first, I need to find them. I'll start by asking any prisoners who might know this provisioner. The third and final piece, an accomplice. My accomplice cannot be an ordinary prisoner. I must find someone capable of enacting my escape plan. Then all that will remain is the plan's execution. So you're the muzzled scholar I've heard so much about. You look like you need something. Same as everyone else who comes to see me. Hmm. The name's Bale. Most call me the Provisioner. I can secure most anything people ask for. Not for money, given our circumstances. But everyone has something of value on them, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, he won't hand it over for free. Though, if I can find his weakness, I'd better scrutinize some of the other prisoners.
Here it is. Surely this is the Provisioner's weakness. Let's see how he responds. Finally come to pay, have you? Hmm. Uh, what's that scrap of paper in your hand? What? Where did you get this? What? Whatever you want, it's yours. Just swear you won't speak a word of this to anyone. and proceeds apace. This clothing ought to keep me from freezing to death. Back to your cells, you animals! That will have to wait. Back to the hole for now. Oswald, have you found the answer? <laughs> to work, maggots! Move!
There are not so many guards watching the cafeteria during this shift. Now is my chance to find an accomplice. I cannot tie my fortunes to this prisoner. Skulking around and sizing up all the prisoners. <clears throat> ah, right. You can't speak on account of the muzzle. I've been watching you. You know, for the last five years. In all that time, you've been feigning indifference while you surveil the place. <sighs> the other prisoners, the guards. Everyone and everything. Watching for minute differences. Like you're making some sort of audit. As far as I'm concerned, only two types of prisoners watch silently for five years. Hungry beasts. And people plotting an escape. That's it. <clears throat> if it's the former, I know someone who can help. So, which one are you, Professor? Shake your head if you're the former, or nod if you're the latter. <laughs> so, my eyes didn't deceive me after all. You're quite clever, I'll say that. Now, for my formal request. I want in on your plan. Hmm. I can be of use to you. You'll see. I got lots of valuable information I'll only share with a close confidant. I've collected it over my long years in this place. That's why they call me Emerald the Informant. I know my information's good. <laughs> you could do far worse, Professor Jailbreak. <laughs> Only someone of considerable wit could have figured out my plot from your observance. Further, he is correct that I have need of his wares. I can certainly use them to my advantage. I knew you'd see it my way. So, what would you have me do? Hmm. This horrid island is four days' journey from the nearest shore. Even if our escape proves successful, we'll need a ship capable of making the journey to the mainland. I have set my sights on the vessel carrying the inspectors, who visit the prison on an erratic schedule. Thus, I need to know when it is due to arrive next. The ledger containing that information is fiercely guarded. I stand no chance of laying eyes on it. 
But all I need to know is the date. For that will be the date we make our escape. Understood. That won't come easily. Not impossible, though. I'll contact you once it happens. <clears throat> One more thing. Get me the key to this muzzle. Can't make any promises there, seeing as it was made just for you. <laughs> Let's just pray luck is on our side, eh, confidant? <laughs> the plan is in motion. I just need to let the informant do his work. Oswald, have you found the answer? No, Harvey. Though I have a theory. Behold this small flame. Nothing exceptional. Yet if I apply the equation I have here, its intensity is compounded. And in theory, its power is multiplied. However, as long as it remains a flame, its power is limited. Using equations to amplify magic powers? This is incredible. You're a genius, Oswald. The one true magic. You're one step closer to it, to standing alone atop the summit of magic scholarship. Though, I must warn you not to grow too fond of the idea, for I will surpass you. <laughs> Time to work, you worthless sacks of meat! Up and out! I must find a prisoner familiar with the underground passage. Hmm. 
I don't believe this. asking me details. Best I can say is there ought to be a labor report for it on file in the library. Hmm. The library. This must be the labor report that prisoner spoke of. Whoever wrote it spared no detail in recording the construction of the passage. And they were a prisoner as well. Must be why no one gave it so much as a second... <laughs> uh -huh. There's an entry to the passage right by the guard station. All is proceeding as planned. I've studied the tunnel's construction. And I am certain 
It is suitable for my escape. Back to your cells! Now! Seems I'm out of time. Back to the hole, then. Oswald. Have you found the answer? I've reached a dead end. There's just one last piece missing. I've explored every possible avenue, but it's nowhere to be found. What could possibly be powerful enough to serve as the source of the one true magic? You've done enough, Oswald. Well done, truly. Now, allow me, the great Harvey, to provide the final piece for you! <laughs> Harvey... Confidant. It took a while, but the goods came in. What's this? I don't recall giving you permission to speak to one another. Ah, uh, you misunderstand, Warden. This isn't what it... It's your lucky day, scum! Speak another word, and I will bury you in the very pit in which you toil! Do I make myself clear? <clears throat> At least that's the last I'll ever feel of that club, right? I'll see you at the storehouse behind the mess hall. Good to see you, Confidant. It sure wasn't easy, but I nicked it. The inspection ledger. Better still, the inspectors are due to arrive tomorrow. All we need to do is follow your plan to the letter. We're nearly free. I can't believe they made it. Aye, the gods are in a foul mood yet again. Sure to be another horrible day in hell. The inspectors should be arriving soon. Prison patrols will be short-handed while they ready a welcome party for the ship. 
That leaves a small window in which to begin executing our plan. It's time. First, we need to make our way to the underground passage. The entrance to the underground passage should be just about here. Excellent work, Confidant. Onward. But first, I have a little something for you. The key to that muzzle of yours. <laughs> I'm locked up now, sure. But I was quite the thief outside these walls. Now I finally get to hear your voice. <clears throat> huh? <sighs> well, aren't you gonna say anything? It's cold. <laughs> now I see why they needed to muzzle you. You're quite the talker. There's no time. Keep moving. <clears throat> oh, and, uh, thanks for the key. You're real warm and fuzzy, aren't you? Save the thanks for when we make our escape. Off we go, confidant.
acquire. <laughs> All according to plan. <clears throat> Do I have to?
the experiment begin. Do I have to? Yes! Well done. <laughs> <laughs> this is the informant's turn. Destroyed. Damn, we were so close. The cuts look fresh. This was done recently. I fear I've underestimated our opponent. That you did. At long last, the scholar speaks. Hello, Oswald. <coughs> I commend you for making it this far. You even managed to remove the muzzle. 
but your choice of ally was your downfall. We've been watching Emerald for some time now. I suspected you two would work together. <sighs> I'm sorry, Confidant. I should have known. Save your breath. The fault is mine. And I will correct it. Whoa! You're not the first, you know? I've seen countless like you. So many have tried, and every last one died a tragic death. And so it would be my honor to put you back in your place. Out of my way. Do I have to? Fire burn. I need a plan. Found a weakness. <laughs> On your feet, Professor! Ugh. This should hold you. That's a hope. Thinking time. <laughs> All according to plan. You got me happy? This should hold you. Thank you. Thinking time. Fire. Burn. This wasn't in my calculations. With me. Now then. Fire burn. Do I have to? This should hold you. That's a hope. You got me happy. Now then. Do I have to? Here, Professor! Thank you. You got me happy? Food! <laughs> you got me happy? All right, you wretches!
use this. Damn. <laughs> Do I have to? You got me. Happy? Fire. Burn. This wasn't in my calculations. <laughs> now then. Fire. Burn. This should hold you. Thank you. Me. Do I have to? Here, Professor! I need a plan. <laughs> All right, you wretches. <laughs> I'll put you on your place. Right in the rocks. Use this. Thanks, Professor. <laughs> this should hold you. That's a hope. Now then. Fire. Burn. Fire. Burn. Do I have to? How could trash like you give me so much trouble? But no punishment is too great for you! <laughs> I underestimated him. He's a better fighter than I expected. That won't be a problem, though. Based on my calculations, we'll still make it. What are you chattering on about? Now cut out your tongue! Now then. <laughs> Here, Professor! The tide is turning. <laughs> we need a plan. Fire. Burn. Pursuit of knowledge. <laughs> Miss me. <laughs> this should hold you. Miss me. <laughs> now then. Let me sh fire burn. This wasn't in my calculations. Here, Professor! Miss me! I need a plan. <laughs> All right, you princess. <laughs> this should hold you. 
I need a play. Like there's more rats where these came from. A crack. This could be our way out. We have to keep moving. Where exactly? This is the end of the road. No. I have the answer. Flames, reduce this wall to ash. Whoa, yeah, I think that'll do, Confidant. We have to go, now. The hardest part is still ahead. No answers today either. And the sun hangs low. Rita and Elaine are likely preparing dinner. I should be getting back.
Long have I toiled in your shadow, but now I've taken all that once was yours. And in due course, I shall complete the one true magic. There he is! It's Oswald! Harvey! You bastard! This, Oswald, is my answer. <laughs> Ever since that day, a fire has burned within my breast. Harvey, you... Professor! Hey, Professor Oswald! Come on, give me a sign! Are you alive in there? I'm fine. You gotta stay alert. I'm counting on you. There's light up ahead. Let's go. We've done it! We've escaped that godforsaken prison! Don't celebrate yet. They know we've escaped. Then what do you propose we do next, Professor? And I'd like an answer before we freeze to death. The last part will be the hardest. Escaping the island. The inspector's vessel should be docked at the pier. And yet... The Warden likely told them about our escape. Let's see what we can learn about the situation. Come, we make for the ship. Now 
Thinking. Pursuit of knowledge. And done. seen worse methods. is turning. Now then. <laughs> Do I have to? <laughs> That's that. Thinking time. Thinking time. <laughs> Study harder. Did you hear? There are prisoners on the loose. Put everyone on patrol! Hunt them down! <laughs> Damn, you were right. Even the inspectors have heard about us. What do we do now? Alter our plans. There's no other choice. We can't stow away on their ship now. They'll make other arrangements. Other arranger? Do you see another boat out here? There they are! Seize them! They found us! Professor, we've got company. That was inevitable. We have to prevent this from causing further commotion. Stay back! Stay back! Do I have to? This should hold you. Thank you. 
with me. <laughs> Thinking time. Fire. Burn. This should hold you. I need a plan. Pierce the winds of frost. Do I have to? This should hold you. Thinking time. Pierce the wings of frost. Study harder. We have to find somewhere to hide. They'll run us down too quickly out here. There's a shack just there. Let's go. What's the plan, Professor? They're bound to catch us. We can't use the Inspector's ship as we planned. We'll need something else. Hmm. If you have any bright ideas, do share them. Quickly! I'm freezing my rocks off here. <laughs> what did you just say? What? That I'm freezing my rocks off? That's it? You're a fantastic assistant, Emerald. Well, my freezing rocks are gonna save us? No. The straw over there... What could you possibly do with a bit of straw? If we have no ship, then we will make our own. Surely you're joking. Crossing the ocean on a boat of straw? Do you think us otters? Nay. We are human and have the intellect to prove it. Storm of ice. Arise. I give you our ice boat. A foundation of buoyant straw beneath a thick sheet of ice. What? You made a boat! I can hardly believe my eyes. <laughs> this might actually work. I once heard of a town blanketed in snow and divided by a river. The people there laid batches of straw down in the river and splashed water atop them until an icy bridge formed. Entire horse-drawn carriages crossed over the ice bridges without incident. And I wouldn't have recalled it if not for you. Yes. Yes, that should prove seaworthy. And there's no chance of the boat melting in this cold. Now then. Fire. Burn. Do I have to? Hmm. All according to 
for it. <laughs> Thinking. <laughs> I'm done. Do I have <laughs> What a letdown. <laughs> Out of that alive. I have to say, the boat's surprisingly sturdy. Of course it is. Do not doubt my ice magic. Given the season, the current should carry us to the mainland. One thing still worries me. They'll continue their pursuit, even if we manage to reach the mainland. In my initial plan, I hope to sink the inspector's vessel before we reached shore. It was to look like an accident, and I'm sure we were presumed dead. Clearly, we won't have that luxury now. Hmm. I've been meaning to ask you something, Professor. Go on. You were brought in for killing your wife and child. Did you do it? That doesn't concern you. I've been on Frigid Isle a long time. I've met more prisoners than I care to remember. But you... You're not like the rest of them. No. There's something different about you. Stop, Professor. Huh? I said stop. I can't do this. I can't go with you. A boat of ice? Is this some sick joke? It's four days' journey to the mainland, if we're lucky. We'll likely freeze to death by then. You can take your chances aboard this frozen dinghy, but I... I will be commandeering the inspector's ship. That will be easy with everyone out there looking for you. They'll deploy fleets from Frigid and the mainland, trapping you at sea. You've a better chance of crossing safely on something small like this. <laughs> well, I won't know that until I try. <laughs> Do what you will. So long, Oswald. I won't mourn him.
Damn! Watch the boat! No! I... Uh... I said do it now! I have very little patience! Oswald was right. I'll never make it out on this ship. They'll just arrest me again. Only one thing left to do. They made me mine phosphor till I spit blood. So, I might as well put it to good use. <laughs> Farewell, Professor. Only one puzzling fact remained. Emerald. Why did you set fire to the Inspector's ship? His actions drew the attention of the guards, allowing my small boat to escape unnoticed. And not only that, I doubt anyone is chasing me now. They have no way of knowing that Emerald and I split up. They're likely to assume that I was also aboard the Inspector's sinking ship. Emerald's final act was utterly... <sighs> well, some mysteries never get solved. An emptiness has settled in my breast. So I keep rowing, as far as my arms will take me, wherever that may be. Welcome home, dear. Rita. You must be exhausted. It wasn't so bad. Oswald, how I long to be with you, to ease your pain, to get you looking presentable again, to make you some goulash with Elena. Rita, I... Alas, my dear, I cannot. You have unfinished business. So you cannot stay here, for it is not yet time. I love you, my dear. Rita. You're awake. Welcome to the small fishing village of Cape Cold. <sighs> You're one of the prisoners from Frigid Isle, aren't you? Found you collapsed on the beach, nearly frozen to death. Only the faintest hint of breath in you. In my 30 years looking after this little finger of land, I've seen three prisoners wash up from Frigid. But you're the first to do so alive. You're a quiet one. Has your mouth frozen shut as well? I need food. You're 
A scholar, are you not? <laughs> Forgive me, but I could not resist a look through your personal effects. I too am a scholar, though not one of any renown, mind. Here, take this robe. It's a damn sight better than your prison rags, eh? Thank you kindly, good man. Come now. This is the least I could do. But from here on out, I ask that you lead an honorable life. <sighs> lead an honorable life. That day shall never come. Harvey, you took everything from me. This fire in my breast shall never be extinguished. And you shall die by my hand. I swear. 